hello everyone welcome back to the map of mathematics in this video we are going to solve this nice equation x to the power of 6 minus 9 x to the power of 3 plus 8 is equal to 0 uh, so the very first thing we are going to do is here i can write x to the power of 6 as x cubed square minus 9 x cubed plus 8 is equal to 0 now uh, i can uh, i can remove this equation i can write this equation in simplified form so that uh, here i can take y is equal to x cube so that uh, this equation will becomes the quadratic equation in y and we can write it as y square minus 9y plus 8 is equal to 0 now uh, we will make the factors of this equation and here you can check that we need two numbers whose product is 8 and whose sum is minus 9 and these two numbers are minus 8 and minus 1 so when we multiply minus 8 by minus 1 we will obtain plus 8 and when we will add these two numbers we will get minus 9 so here we can multiply minus 9 on each side and we will write minus 9y is equal to minus 8y minus y so now uh, we will replace this minus 9y by minus 8y minus y so that we have y square minus 8y minus y plus 8 is equal to 0. Now we take common y from the first these terms and these terms. So here we take common y we will get y minus 8. Here we take common minus 1 and we will get y minus 8 is equal to 0. And here we take common y minus 8 and we obtain y minus 1 is equal to 0 so now here we have two cases the first case is y minus 8 is equal to 0 and the other case is y minus 1 is equal to 0 and here we find the value of y is 8 and here we find the value of y is 1 after that we back substitute the values of y and here uh, in the start of the question we take y is equal to x cube so now we substitute y is equal to x cube so that x cubed is equal to 8 and here we have x cubed is equal to 1 so now we take 8 to the left hand side so this will becomes x cubed minus 8 is equal to 0 and this will becomes x cubed minus 1 is equal to 0 so here uh, we will apply the famous cubic formula and you know that if we have a cube minus b cube it is equal to a minus b times of a square plus b square plus a b okay so now we can apply this formula on both of the terms so that here we can uh, uh, write this term as x cubed minus 2 cubed is equal to 0 and now we can apply this cubic formula here so that this will becomes x minus 2 and x square plus 2 square plus 2x is equal to 0 and here we will get x minus 2 is equal to 0 and x square plus 2x plus 4 is equal to 0 okay so we can just take both of the factors equal to 0 and here we get the value of x which is equal to 2 now uh, we can find the other solution or other roots from this equation and here we apply the quadratic formula and you can see here a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 and c is equal to 4 and we know that the quadratic formula is minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac 
square root over 2a now we substitute all the values of a b and c here and we get minus 2 time of minus 2 plus minus 2 square which is 4 minus 4 ac and the value of a is 1 and the value of c is 4 so it will becomes minus 16 square over 2 so now we simplify this expression and we get minus 2 plus minus uh, here we have minus 12 square root over 2 and we can write it as minus 2 plus minus here we write 12 as 4 times of 3 and we can write minus 1 square root over 2 so the square root of 4 is 2 and we take common 2 from both terms so it will cancel out by the denominator and it will becomes minus 1 plus minus square root 3 and this minus 1 square root is equal to iota okay so these are two other roots of the given equation now uh, we can uh, proceed uh, this equation here we have x cubed minus 1 is equal to 0 and now we can apply the same process uh, which we, we can apply this expression x cubed minus 8 is equal to 0 so that we can apply the cubic formula here and we will obtain x minus 1 we get x minus 1 into x square plus 1 plus x is equal to 0 and now we take both expressions is equal to 0 and here we have x minus 1 is equal to 0 and x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 so here we get x is equal to 1 and x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 now we can apply the uh, quadratic formula here and here you have a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 1 so we can substitute all the values of a b and c in this quadratic formula so we get x is equal to minus 2 sorry minus 1 plus minus 1 minus 4 a c and it will becomes minus 4 square root over 2 so here we have minus 1 plus minus square root of 3 iota over 2 so here i can just write min 1 minus 4 will becomes minus 3 and when we take the square root on minus 1 so it will becomes minus iota so here we have the other roots of the given equation so we have uh, because our equation has the power or exponent 6 so the given equation has 6 roots so these roots are here we have these two roots one root is 4 and this root is 5 and uh, sorry this root is 4 and these two are 6 so these these are total 6 roots of the given equation so this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel for more exciting videos